Welcome to STAB exam forum. We have come up with video number two in Let's Solve PYQ, where we will solve ISRO assistant exam paper. Okay, and this exam was held on 2014, and the section which we will cover will be general English. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin this session. So before beginning, let's have the thought of the day. Student, this picture is very important for your exam journey. Why? Because as you can see, there are number of steps. Okay. So the bottom step is I won't do it. Okay. So if, if you won't do it for your exam, you will not uh, achieve anything. Okay. So student, just read this uh, statement and find out on which step currently you are. Okay. And which step you have reached today. Okay. So most of us are in step three where we want to do something. Okay. But it should be, I will do it. And finally, yes, I did it. Okay. So let's uh, begin this step. Okay. So the first question for the day is this one and your time starts now. Student, as I told you in the slavers also, you will find two to three question from synonym and antonyms. Okay. Student, this question is from synonyms. Okay. This question is from synonyms and the word which you need to uh, give the same meaning is ubiquitous. Okay. This is a very common word nowadays. I will give you an example. Nowadays, mobile are ubiquitous. Mobile are ubiquitous means mobile are present everywhere. Okay. So the synonym for this particular word is present everywhere. Okay. So those who have given option C as their answer, they are right. Okay. Let's see the next question and your time starts now. I request all the student uh, try to give the answer. Okay. We will give the answer at the end of timer. Okay. And your time's up. Student, again, this question is from synonym and the word is panacea. Okay. Student, the meaning of this panacea word is cure for all. Okay. It is cure for all. Okay. So you have heard a common tablet is used for everywhere. Okay. So it is cure for all. Okay. Panacea means whatever the suggestion, whatever the advice, it will be cure for all the conditions. Okay. So it will be a panacea for that. Okay. So option A is the correct answer. Coming to the next question and your time starts now. So as you can see in 2014 exam, uh, three synonyms we got in the questions. Okay. So synonyms are very important and the word is enver enervated. Okay. The word is enervated. And you need to find the synonym of enervated. Okay. Student, the answer for this question is option C weak. Okay. Enervated means weak. Okay. Weak is the correct answer. Okay. Let's see the next word. Again, it is synonym student. So we have four questions on synonym. So you need to uh, have a look on vocabulary part. Okay. And the word for this particular question is innocuous. Okay. Innocuous student. The word innocuous is used for harmless. Okay. Like this, uh, tablet is innocuous for your health. Okay. It is harmless for your health. Okay. So option a is the correct answer. Okay. Let's see the next question. It is from the antonyms. Okay. It is from the antonyms and the word is very simple queer. Okay. Student, the meaning of queer, queer is strange. Okay. But they have asked the opposite. So the opposite of cure in all these options should be ordinary. Okay. So option D is the correct answer. Okay quickly coming to the next question where you need to tell the opposite of word malevolence a very good word okay malevolence this is a negative word and all these options are positive and the most appropriate opposite of malevolence is kindness okay 
सो काइंडनेस ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर ओके लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट ऑपोजिट एंड द वर्ड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज निम्बल ओके स्टूडेंट द मीनिंग ऑफ निम्बल इज वेरी परफेक्ट वेरी एजाइल ओके एंड बट दे हैव आस्क अपोजिट सो आउट ऑफ दिस फोर ऑप्शन क्लम्जी क्लम्जी सेम्स टू बी द बेस्ट आंसर एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्लम्जी ओके लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट दीज क्वेश्चन आर कॉल्ड वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन ओके दीज आर कॉल्ड वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन स्टूडेंट दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव सीन इन डी आर डी ओ एग्जाम एज वेल रिसेंटली सो वन हु हैज गुड टेस्ट फॉर फूड एंड इंजॉय इट वॉट इज दैट वर्ड वन वर्ड फॉर दैट ओके एज यू नो गवर्नमेंट ओके वेरी कॉमन वर्ड गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट डिपिक्स वन हु हैज अ गुड टेस्ट फॉर फूड एंड इंजॉय इट ओके सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट वन quickly coming to the next question without any wasting time and the statement is a journal pardon of political offenders okay so if you see all these four option uh, it is generally used for offenders payroll is uh, you know if you give some money you can uh, be out of uh, jail okay amnesty this word amnesty means a pardon for the political leaders okay they can be relieved uh because of their political image okay so amnesty is the correct answer for this question coming to the next it is a very simple one who pretends to be what he is not okay uh like uh, if you're talking on uh, a public chat you pretend something else okay so it means you are imposter imposter is generally a negative term where you are not the one uh, who is talking okay it pretend that he uh, to be what he is not okay for example if you are x and you are pretending you are y it means you are imposter okay so option a is the correct answer coming to the next question it is from the filling the blanks okay where you need to uh, fill the blank with the correct word and the statement is judge complimented the young witness for standing up to the dash cross examination okay so if you see all these four option it can fit there but what will be the best option that you need to fit okay it can fit rds lengthy tds but since the judge has complimented complimented okay so it should be a very uh, difficult and very uh good cross examination and grueling is the correct answer grueling means a very uh very effortful uh, task that uh, one does okay so grueling cross examination is the correct answer okay option b is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question and your time starts now a very simple one student a good dictionary is dash for learning english okay a good dictionary is dash for learning english okay as you know good dictionary is necessary for learning english okay and the synonym of necessary is indispensable which is required at all okay so option d is the right answer okay coming to the next these are called para jumbles or statement jumbles okay these are called para jumble or statement jumble okay these two to three question you can find in isro assistant exam and the question says the chief minister said okay let's uh do one by one so so the chief minister said what he said the goraknath moment was an so it should be the first right so we can eliminate option b uh, and d okay let's see the next the goraknath moment was uh, n so n you with the help of n you can think of it is ethnic it can be inclusion but uh, if you read it the goraknath uh, gorakland movement was an ethnic problem and he always favored the autonomy of these areas and inclusion of nepali language in the schedule so option a seems to be the perfect answer and the option a is the right answer okay so you need to uh, look for the option as well as eliminating the option one by one okay let's see the next question 
this is a very tricky one student and uh, the option given here are wrong okay i will tell you what what is the right option for that in exam these options are given but these are not right okay so the answer for this question will, will be the only time the tag of all rounder okay tag of all rounder so s will be first uh, did not fit him was so s cube was on 1979 tour of england when he when the dynamic uh, cricketer failed with the bat so, okay s q p r should be the correct answer but as you can see there is not uh, in the option okay so it is not in the option so correct answer is s q p r okay s q p r is the right answer coming to the next question again from the statement jumble and your timer already got started yes give me the answer quickly student let's uh, start it when so it uh, it should be a uh, begin with some uh, noun okay when illustrious personality so this is noun and this is adjective of that uh, word okay so when an illustrious personality win an award okay r s so you can straight away see only option c is left and this is the correct answer let's uh, fill this when an illustrious personality win an award in recognition of their great performance it become an honor of life so option c is the correct answer okay so using two statement we just got the answer okay similarly you can do in your exam as well okay let's see the next question and your time starts now student this question is from the idioms okay you will find one to two idioms in the exam a very simple one to be up and doing to be up and doing means the person is actively engaged okay if you are actively engaged you can say that he is up and doing okay so option b is the correct answer coming to the next question and your time starts now a very simple one student you can relate uh, this idiom with a story of a wolf okay to cry wolf means to give false alarm okay so if if somebody is giving false alarm okay he it means he is crying the wolf okay so option b is the correct answer quickly coming to the next one it is also a very simple one to smell a rat okay generally i told you already a technique whenever the idioms uh, question came okay you just try to figure out what can uh, be the answer okay without having the direct meaning okay so to smell a rat direct meaning is what bad smell that should not be the answer rat so plague you can relate again it it can't be the right answer and uh, you have to again if you are having uh, to smell a rat bad blood doesn't seem to be the right answer and the option c to have a suspect full foul dealing it means to smell a rat okay okay so option c is the right answer coming to the next question a very simple one left no stone unturned okay S see whenever you have no left uh, stone it means you have used all your means okay so option c is the correct answer okay left no stone unturned means you have used all the available means whatever you have okay let's see the next question student this is from the misspelled word okay misspelled word these are also very important from the exam as you can see the word is mischievous so as you know that in mischievous h, h comes so this is a wrong answer again if you look uh, this this one this seems to be the correct but the answer the problem is with e okay e should not be there so this is again wrong again whenever uh, mischievous come okay i o u s i e u s it is a wrong it never come in english like this so option d seems to be the correct answer and option d is the right answer okay mischievous coming to the next it is a very common word and a very uh, misspelled word okay sovereignty okay c sovereignty has g in it so this option you can straight away eliminate it okay and 
word pronounced as nitty but it doesn't have an it in it okay so you are left with option d sovereignty okay option d is the correct answer coming to the next it is the error detection this question came from error detection quickly let's answer this a very simple one he was not blind from birth it is not blind from by birth okay he was not blind by birth so option d is the correct answer coming to the next it is a very good question student it is again from the error detection and the statement says sahana with her brother and sister are present there okay so you you thought that uh, there is no error in it but still there is an error so whenever uh, this is the main subject okay so it should be with the model word okay sahana with her brother and sister is present there it should not be r is present there so option d is the correct answer okay so this is d okay option d this is c this is b and this is a so d is the correct answer okay so student that's it so we have seen 2014 english language section and we have solved all the question and if you have not watched our video one that is uh, journal knowledge where we covered everything related to journal knowledge uh, which uh, exam was held on 2014 the same exam where we cover journal knowledge you can have a look on that and if you want to see the exam pattern and the syllabus you can have a look on this video okay so that's all student and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box thank you for watching and have a nice day